Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a first impressions on a few new products that I had in my collection. Some of them you guys will see from that unboxing swap video that my friend Andrea and I did. Um, she got me so much product that I was able to put it into this first impressions video um, because I couldn't use it in the original actual first impression swap makeup video. So you guys will be seeing some more of those products in this video and I did pull out some products that I've tried before but I probably haven't used on camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love the way the look came out. I think my eyes look like a carnival tropical paradise. And I will say at first it was a little struggle with the eyeshadow palettes. Why? I don't know why, but you know, it's just what it is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started. All right, you guys, so to get started, I am going to be using the Pore Refining Primer Mask. Um, this one is going to be by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I did get this from my friend Andrea when we did our swap video. Um, she did get me two face primers. Um, I didn't get a chance to use this one in that video, so I kind of figured I'll go ahead and use it now. So it says to remove the sheet mask from the package and apply to clean, dry skin. Leave on for five minutes and then remove, rinse, and let dry before applying makeup. Use one to two times per week or before a special occasion for radiant looking skin. So we are going to go ahead and open it up. And this is what it looks like. And we're going to apply it. Ooh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. All right, so this mask is supposed to minimize the appearance of pores, brighten the skin, and prep for a flawless makeup application. So hopefully when I'm done, my face looks flawless because I look really crazy right now. All right, you guys, you know the drill. We are going to prime our eyes using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. You guys, I cannot stop using this eyeshadow primer i'm one of those people where i kind of feel like because it's an eye, a eyeshadow primer i don't feel the need to like change it up um and this one works perfectly fine so that's why you guys will always see it <clears throat> as my eyeshadow primer of choice because i just kind of feel like if it ain't broke don't try to fix it so all right, so for eyeshadow palettes, I actually have three eyeshadow palettes in front of me. Um, honestly, whenever I film my videos, I don't know what look I'm going to create. I just pull a palette and just try to wing it during the actual video. Um, but I have the Aftershock palette by Bad Habit Beauty. If you guys don't know, these are the dupes to the Huda Beauty palette. Um, here is what this one looks like. This one is called um, Aftershock. So this is a really pretty like colorful eyeshadow palette. Um, this one is called After Dark and I did feature After Dark in my, I think it was my June favorites. It's a really pretty warm tone eyeshadow palette. You do get only one shimmer which sits in the middle of the eyeshadow palette. And then you have the rest which is all mattes surrounding the shimmer shade. And then I have the one called After Hours which I also featured in my June favorites as well. It's a really pretty, like, we you know, purple, pinky, burgundy kind of eyeshadow palette. So I do have these three as my eyeshadow palette of choice for the video. I'm going to do my best to use all three if possible. So starting off, I'm going to take the After Dark eyeshadow palette. You do have the names of the colors on the back. And you also have the names of the colors on the front, which I like a lot um so i'm going to take the color called skin to skin it's that really pretty neutral color or nude color just pop it into my crease <clears throat> and for my brush i'm going to take the one by lab it's the dress blending brush um they don't sell this in walmart anymore they used to sell it in walmart but you can probably definitely find it on the company's website i will try to leave it in my link if i can find it for you guys but it is the best blending brush that I have tried that's an affordable price so I love it a lot and I hope I can find it online for you guys I 
gonna take the color called slip dress it's this really pretty burnt orange color i'm gonna take the same brush and just put it into my crease also Alright, moving on to the next palette. I'm going to take the After Dark eyeshadow palette. Um, one more time, I'm going to take the color called 24 Karat. It's that really pretty gold color. I'm just going to apply it to one half of my lid. And then going into the Aftershock palette, I'm going to take that really pretty teal color. It's like really speaking to me. Just going to apply it to the outer part of my lid. All right, and then I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, and then for my outer V, I'm going to go into the, I'm gonna go into the After Hours eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the color call, I'm thinking, either Cabernet, which is this one, or the one on top called Hickey for my outer V, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna take Hickey and put it in my outer V. Then I'm going to take Cabernet and just pop it into my outer V as well. And then for the last part, I'm just going to take the color called Clutch. Just that really pretty like icy pink color and just pop it into the inner part of my eye. All right, moving on to the face. Um, I did use the Pore Refining Primer Mask, which you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Um, I did like it. However, my skin does feel like dry and not like primed. So I'm still gonna go ahead and prime my face again. I'm gonna use the Pixi H2O Skin Drink to prime my face. And you guys know I have dry skin, so it like my skin feels tight. Which is not like a bad thing, but because I have dry skin, it, I just feel like I need some moisture on my face. So, All right, and then for foundation, um, in that same swap video, my friend Andrea got me the collab Radiant Foundation. Um, this one is in the color called Tawny, which looks like this. Um, she did get me two foundations in that video, which I already used the L'Oreal uh, stick foundation already, but I didn't get a chance to use this one, so I kind of figured let's go ahead and use it for this video today. And the color looks like it might work, but let's see. And you get a pump, you guys, which you know, I'm all 
about that pump. I love my foundation have a pump on it because it's so much more convenient. Y'all, I like this foundation a lot. Like, look how this coverage is. And my skin is, like, glowing. And it does say on here it's a radiant foundation. But, y'all, do you see that? I think I might have a new favorite foundation. And the color is a perfect match. Like, look at this. Y'all see, like, how my skin is, like, bright and, like, shining and, like, glowing? Oh, my God. This is, like, a dry person's dream for a foundation. Like, it looks like I have a highlight on my face right here. That is amazing. All right. That foundation is definitely a thumbs up in my book. That foundation is amazing. All right, moving on to concealer. I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, which you guys know I love already. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. Like, I know the shade range isn't the best. Like, trust me, I know. But you guys, the concealer is really, really good. It is a full coverage concealer. A little bit goes a long way. I'm in a color called Deep. Um, they might have one more under my shade that I use, but y'all just give the concealer a try. It's again by Flower Beauty. It's the Light Illusion Concealer. And I promise you, like, even though the shade range sucks, you're going to love this concealer a lot. So definitely give it a try. You can get it at Ulta or Walmart. Um, I don't think they're in Target. So I would either check Ulta or Walmart, uh, but Ulta might be your best bet because they have a nice full display. All right, and that's going to take my beauty blender and just blend this out. My uh, Sonia Kashuk one is dirty, so that's why I'm not using it today. Um, I did use it to film another video yesterday and I need to like wash all of my brushes because they're really dirty. All right, and then I'm just going to take my Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have it in the one called Naturally Neutral. Um, I just think it's a really good, affordable, loose face powder. And if you don't want to buy the Laura Mercier, definitely check this one out. Um, my only concern is I think all loose powders, minus one, um, they're really messy. The one by Roma London that my friend Andrea got me, that one honestly is not that messy at all. I think it's the way that they have it compact. Um, it sits really low, so it doesn't really fall out as much. This one, however, on the other hand, it's super messy. So that's why I don't really use loose powders that much, but I just like the way it looks under my eyes. So I'm starting to like use them again, but y'all, it's so messy. All right, and then for face powder, I'm just going to use the NYX No Filter Face Powder in the color called Deep Golden which I got from the swatch also. I have been loving this face powder a lot, so I'm just going to keep using it until y'all are sick and tired of me using it. <laughs> and then wherever I don't have the 
powder. I'm just going to apply the setting powder. And that's pretty much the base of the face. Um, moving into bronzer, um, she did get me the one by e.l.f. Also, it's the one called Deep, um, which just looks like this. And I know on her channel, she raised about this a lot, so I'm just going to use it today. And I'm going to use my little bronzer brush that I got from TJ Maxx, which I actually featured in my haul um, a while back on my channel. So I'm going to use that today. And this is definitely pigmented. Do you see that? Oh wow, that's intense. <laughs> Alright, so I do have on my bronzer. My camera did die on me when I was applying the bronzer. Um, <clears throat> but I do have it on my face and I think it's really pretty. And for the blush, I'm going to take the one by Black Radiance. You guys know I love their products. This one is called Toasted Almond, which looks like this. You guys, this is a really pretty blush. If you haven't tried it, definitely pick it out. I think you guys will love it a lot. It's one of those colors that look really pretty with any eye look. And I love it a lot. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the Master Chrome. It's the Metallic Highlighter in Molten Peach 150, which I did get in that swap video as well. This will actually be my second time using it, so I kind of figured it will be really pretty with this eye look. And I'm going to take that same powder and just pop it into the inner tear ducts of my eyes to give it a little bit of extra glow. Um, I was using the color out of the After Hours palette, which was Clutch and Gossip. But for some reason, I keep losing that intensity. I'm just going to pop it right in the center. All right, and then for my lip color, I do have two colors in front of me. One is going to be the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color called Give Me Mocha. And then I have the Sephora Gel, Ultra Shine Gel Lip, the Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Nude Alert, which is this one. And then here is Wet n Wild. And I think for this look, I'm thinking either this or my NYX is the lingerie glitter in honeymoon I think that might be even prettier because of the eyes so let's just do wait a while this color is so pretty you guys and then let's do the Sephora Ultra Shine Gel. And then we'll just do the NYX on top. All right, you guys, this is pretty much the completed look. I think everything turned out really nicely. Um, for some reason, like, my eye look always comes together once the lashes, they're on. Because um, at first, I was kind of like, girl, 
it ain't working like you want it to but I think once the lashes are on and the makeup is actually on my face it actually looks even better that's pretty much everything you guys hope you enjoyed this video like always please be sure to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye guys